Got to make it down somehow. Okay, after hours and hours of scanning, we finally found a moderately sketchy way to get down, but the safest way. Okay, so there's that waterfall, about 20 feet high, maybe a bit more. Very slippery, so we decided not to go down that way. Instead, we probably took an even sketchier way. Uh, 30 foot drop, but at least if you fall, it's uh, not as painful. And we made it down to the creek. In the last video, when we were here, we uh, barely scratched the uh, tip of the claim. We were about 500 meters in. Uh, we're a kilometer away from that right now. And this is supposed to be where the zone of mineralization is. That culvert obviously washed down from uh, up here. I don't know how else it would get down here. This is pretty uh, sketchy. Overgrown, second and third growth forest. So let's go down and see if we can find anything. All right, so similar to geology to the last video, a bit different. You have um, dark green hornfells and you have uh, carbonate scarnified rocks. And um, your veining is more along the lines of quartz carbonate. Uh, you have intense shears all along this creek. Um, what we're looking for is a fracture shear zone and it's got intrusions of multiple different kinds of rocks and we have uh, quartz veins with pyrite, calcopyrite mineralization all throughout the creek. And then in the zone we have pods of uh, massive magnetite, uh, some hematite, calcopyrite, massive sulfides basically. And that's what we're trying to get to today. So you can see right here, you have a uh, marble-like rock, borderline limestone very difficult to tell. It looks more like marble to me. Um, continues all the way up here. Up near the waterfall you have contacts of diorite, granodiorite. diorite. You can see it's exposed along here in the waterfall. Waterfall is directly up there. But you have these intrusions of uh, marble-like rock in your hornfells. And uh, you can see uh, they're slightly argolitic as well. So we're, we got to try and make it down there. There's a few routes. Uh, they kind of seem a little sketchy, but we're going to see what we can do. We want to go 100 meters that way. If we have to spend the night out here, we got a couple nice little caves here. Should be safe from the wind. So we have to get down there, which means probably hopping across to that rock. We'll see. All right, here you got some marble. Okay, you see your uh, brownish kind of oxidization. You have little bits of iron pyrite all throughout. Very fine grained and uh, not even worth sampling. I don't think it's uh, so minimal. I don't know if you can even see a few tiny bits in there. You have a little bit of malachite staining right there.
Just got new boots. Got to get them wet already. There's absolutely no way to get across safely without getting wet. So we're just going to walk across in our boots. Won't even bother taking them off. We only got three hours of daylight. So maybe four, but we still got a ways to walk and it's a hike back up the vehicle. So we got to hurry. All right, I think we are at the start of the zone. Finally made it. A little bit of oxidization there, there, and we got a ton over there. So probably gonna be some mineral there. Looks very oxidized, so we'll see what comes out of that. See if we can get a sample. It's gonna be difficult to get over there, but we'll do our best. We're already wet, so we may just have to swim. All right, so, so far, there's that little spot there. Nice big outcrop here, exposed with sulfides. A little bit down here and one over there. Not seeing too much of anything else right now, but we'll have to poke around a bit more. We're gonna see if we can get over there Grab a sample. A little bit better view. I can see malachite staining right there. So jumping from there to here, my hammer nicked this and exposed chalcopyrite. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sample some rocks in the creek before we make it over there. Uh, we're finding lots that are heavily mineralized. You can see, I'll zoom in. This is almost all chalcopyrite. Heavily mineralized. You can see just all throughout the rock. So we're gonna pull some samples from here, more there. We got uh, more here, you got some magnetite, more there. So just loaded with mineralization. We'll pull off a few samples and uh, take a look at those first. Another boulder here, just loaded. You can see all the slightly off yellow golden color all chalcopyrite more chalcopyrite all throughout here so we're gonna pull the samples off now uh, we're gonna make a new video too we're gonna do some uh, placer exploration here because there is Gold in this creek reportedly, which is how they initially found this deposit, doing placer mining. Alrighty, so you can see just solid mineral, entire rock full of mineralization. Look at that. Very nice looking ore. Okay, more samples here. Just loaded with mineralization. Anyway, 
what we're gonna do now is end the video uh, we'll make a couple more videos from this area because we probably got about an hour of footage that we could shoot based on what I see so stay tuned for part two we'll see you guys in the next video